Hello, it's the Extreme Sounds. I'm going to do a review on the Dell Inspiron 1720. It is a massive 17 inch desktop replacement. It's got a Intel Core 2 Duo and it's clocked at 2 GHz. Got 3 GB of RAM and Windows Vista. On the left hand side, we got headphone, microphone, a DVD writer, and um, we got a mini display port, VGA, Ethernet, and two USB ports. And also you got indicator lights here. On the left hand side we have a Wi-Fi indicator, a Wi-Fi lock, PCI Express 2, a fan and a Kenston lock. And like I was saying before, the keyboard is incredibly good. There is a little bit of spacing, but it is just there's a lot of depth to it and it's really good quality, it'll never break. My favourite things about this laptop is that it's got a matte colour finish which means that it doesn't pick up any fingerprints at all. I am not over exaggerating. There's no fingerprints. The screen is 1440 by 900 which is actually quite high considering this is a couple of years old. Um, so it's a definitely a good screen. The speakers on this notebook are unfortunately positioned on the bottom of the laptop at the front. It's stereo but I don't know if you can see but they're actually quite small. And I would like to have seen a subwoofer on this laptop of you know, this size. Despite the lack of bass, there's actually really high volume and good clarity as well. integrated Intel graphics, it handles HD video surprisingly well. One of the places where I'd like to see a bit more effort is in the power department. Even though it has got a good Core 2 Duo processor, the Windows Experience Index rating is only 3.4. Another good point of this laptop is the battery life. Despite what Vista says, this laptop actually gets around 5 plus hours of battery life, which is helped from the 9 cell battery. I think that's a pretty impressive score considering this is a 17 inch laptop with a very powerful and bright screen. Because of the matte option, the screen has got pretty good viewing angles. Because of this massive high resolution screen, gaming is actually pretty decent on this laptop. Unfortunately, Crisis 2 is just a bit too graphic intensive this integrated graphics. You can't really see it on the screen but the frames per seconds are pretty low. Weirdly this laptop has two stereo microphones. As you can see it does does work. But there isn't a webcam which we saw on the iBook G3 but this seems a bit too new to figure out why. There is a quite a big uh, reason why you wouldn't want to buy this if you were travelling because this is a 15 inch HP laptop, it's actually quite big-ish for 15 inch because there is a bit around the bezel but as you can see it's kind of consumed by a 17 inch laptop and it's this is quite a lot heavier um, and it, you really wouldn't want to take it on the go one thing I like about this laptop is the fan is massive and it hardly ever comes on. It is silent. But as you can see it is actually huge. Because this is a big notebook and then you look at the fan and it still looks big compared to everything else. It is really quite massive. As you can see the battery sticks out but then you do get the extra amount of battery so that's fine. I can live with that. On the back we've got S-Video, two USB ports. Uh, just a, I think that's actually a TV aerial port. A large 9 cell battery. 
a modem and another USB port. On the front we have um, volume controls, got pause, play, back and forth, um, skip track, and then we've got the pause button. This is actually the best build quality laptop I've ever seen in my life. It is quite heavy, it is probably about 5 kilograms or less, but it is really, really good quality. It is, the keyboard is one of the best keyboards I've ever used. Trackpad's a bit small, but you can really tell this laptop is good quality because even the lighting is a really nice shade of blue. It's got Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, um, battery indicator, hard drive and power, and it's just really nice to look at. Considering how heavy and large this thing is, it's amazingly thin. I mean, this is a 17 inch notebook and it's that thin. It's fantastic. Thank you for watching, that has been the Extreme Sounds review on the Inspiron 1720 from Dell. Goodbye.